Hello fellow YouTubers, today I will be showing you my homemade incubator with an automatic egg turner. I got this idea from a fellow YouTuber, I believe his name is Hopeless Hobbyist. Uh, he also has a video, a separate video on how to build the tray here which is very informative. Um, mine is similar, pretty much similar to his, um, with of course a couple of modifications of my own. Um, to start off with a couple of key components to making this work, uh, first you have to find a motor. I uh, bought this on eBay for $9.95, that was including shipping. I believe it was under the name of the item was 120 VAC timer motor, one third RPM, 20 RPH. Uh, last time I checked there's still some available on eBay, that was a little while ago, earlier in the day. Uh, to control the the, uh, the the motor, I connected. I bought a timer, as you can see right here. Um, got this at Walmart for about five or six bucks. It has uh, 15 minute intervals, um, so every four hours, so it'll turn for 14 uh, for 15 minutes. If you can find one that's five minute intervals, that's even better. You don't want them to turn that long, but that was the one that I could find that was the least. Um, I have everything set up to a power outlet here uh, instead of it being on all the way on the on the floor um, and making a huge uh, cord mess so I just have one power cord that's going to um, to the outlet and everything else is connected here I'm going to clean that up in a little in a little bit uh, cut the wire splice and make them shorter I'm going to get rid of this excess stuff here um, another key component is the uh, thermostat. It's a water boiler thermostat. I drilled some holes in it uh, that I got advice from other people and what I read online this will make it a little bit more sensitive. I also uh, got this little bracket here from Home Depot for about a dollar or so um, and I drilled some I drilled a hole right here so I can um, just stick, stick a little screwdriver in and and adjust the temperature um, the setting here for the thermostat uh, without having to dismount the the thermostat here, uh, I got this light mount here that I got at Home Depot for like two bucks. Uh, it's the plastic one, not the ceramic one. I've seen a lot of people use ceramic ones, um, so the ceramic ones are more a little bit more expensive, uh, around five or six bucks. This was two bucks. Um, I got the uh, computer fan here at a local computer store, 12 volt. Uh, make sure you connect it to a 12 volt power supply. Um, make sure its output is 12 volts. You can pick one of these up at any Goodwill, Goodwill store um, from an old cell phone that people don't use anymore. Uh, second hand store you can find those easy or even on eBay but I suggest you hit your second hand store, uh, second hand store first. Um, so let me turn on the th uh, turn it on so you can see. Uh, also the bracket here you can mount this however you want it. Um, it's all personal preference. I had a hard time trying to mount it, so I used a little plastic thingamajigger here that I found at uh, Radio Shack. Uh, but I've seen people d directly connect it to a piece of wood. Um, so let me go ahead and turn this on, and you will see how it turns. One second. So you can see the eggs are turning. So it turns, turns, this motor turns really slowly, which what you want. It's nice and easy on the eggs. So you can see it's turning them nice and neat and nice and slow, really gentle. I've used this incubator before already. It got really good hatch rate. Temperature fluctuated between 99 and 100, which is perfect. Humidity kept the humidity in, um, and uh, it, it really worked really well. Um, one thing that I'm going to add though, I'm going to add another another light fixture over here with its own little power, with a little switch in the back. So this way when I'm incubating eggs, I can uh, just turn the light on and off when this light is not on. Because it's very difficult to see when, when this light is not on. Remember this is the heat source. So I decided that I'm going to add another light so I can see the eggs as they hatch or just to check up on them 
So, you know, sometimes it's dark, and, you know, you, you can check up on it even though the room is dark. Um, this is the, this is the lid. I used uh, glass here from two picture frames that I bought at the dollar store for a dollar. Uh, so I made one in, one's inside and one's outside, and I used um, aluminum tape. And there, this works really, really well. Uh, it sticks really well. And uh, I also used it to uh, coat the foam here, the, the edge, the top of the edge of the foam. And this you can find at um, Home Depot for about two fifty to three dollars for a big sheet of of uh, foam. I use the half inch versus the three quarter inch that I've seen some people use. But as you can see, the whole time it's been turning the eggs nice and neat and nice and gentle. Uh, and you can set up the digital ti uh, the, the timer however you want every four or five hours, every two hours, uh, three times a day. It's all, it's all personal preference. Uh, so I hope I was able to help you out. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, I will be more than glad to answer them. All right, thank you, YouTube. Good night.